<laughs> and Sarah G said, well, 150 has a reference angle of 30 degrees, because 30 is here. 1 and 2, 30 is here. This is 150, distance between 150 and 180, uh, 1 and 2. So we're working with reference angles. you got to get your reference angle before you can find the actual trig value. So, here we go. Here's the thinking. This is, I mean, it's, it's kind of challenging, but it's, it's visual. You can see things. That's what makes it a little bit easier. What if I change this? And we'll get to this part of it here in one moment. I just want you to think before we get there. What if I take that sign and I say, okay, I want to know what the sign of what degree measure is negative one half. Amori's going, I didn't even get the first one. <laughs> negative one half. What kind of reference angle are we working with still? A positive one. All reference angles are positive. It's still a 30 degree angle, correct? Yes. But now what quadrants are we in? The bottom, bottom, three and four. Why? <coughs> because all strippers take cash. Make sure you get that on film. <laughs> all students take cash. <laughs> so, s sign is negative in which two quadrants? When in the first one we said sine one half, then we were talking about quadrants one and two. What we are going to work with and what we are going to figure out is called inverse. You ever see Michael Jackson back in his heyday? What did he create that was famous? The moon. Moonwalk. You want to see my video of that? Can you moonwalk? I can moonwalk. Let's see it. Well, not on carpet. Yeah, you can because we had a student do it yesterday in class. Let's yeah, see really. it. Yeah, he did. He was pretty good, too. I can't do it. Can't, can do it. Don't ever say can't in this room. I want to see you fall down. No, I don't want to see you fall down. I want to see you moonwalk. I'm going to get hurt. Take your shoes off. I'm going to do it with my shoes off. No, you can't do it with shoes. It's going to take like a half hour to get these off. I bet it takes four seconds. It probably takes four seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay, point taken. I can't get it. I bet if you took your shoes off, you could. I highly doubt it. No, I bet I you could. <laughs> you mean I can do it better than you? That's it. I really hope you can. I slow it down, just slow motion a little bit. But then I throw a little twist in right back at you. That's called cook terminal. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah. I'm bringing it all back. Bringing it all back. <laughs> Working backwards. Moonwalking. Whatever you want to call it. We are going to find angle measures. That's inverse. That's inverse. Here are the inverse buttons on your calculator. In fact, it's probably above your sine, cosine, and tangent. It's second sine. Second cosine. Second tangent. So if I wanted to find out what the angle measure was here, you can type in second sign, 1 divided by 2. Type it in your calculators. See what you come up with. I guarantee it says 30. 